Austin. Welcome to Austin. Check, check, check. Hey. We're here in uh, Austin, Texas for uh, South by Southwest 2006. I'm here with uh, George and Miguel from uh, Chicago's Catfish Haven, a band that's getting a lot of attention as of late. Uh, so you guys want to uh, talk a little bit about your uh, songwriting process? Like, where do the ideas come from? Uh, uh, well, I guess, uh, I guess I kind of come up with a basic structure of a song, uh, the melodies, the guitar part, but uh, we definitely kind of fleshed out as a band. It's a uh, it, it's a process where we'll kind of come in. I'll, I'll kind of know what I'm what I'm thinking here and there, and uh, we'll try to translate that. And uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And then go back to the drawing board, come back. It's just kind of a an everyday process. We practice every single day, so okay. when we're writing songs, it's a it's kind of a, a, a it's definitely a process for sure. Do you kind of come up with the ideas at home and then bring them in to the rest of the band? Or? Yeah, either at home or just uh, wherever. A, a lot of times, a lot of our songs have actually been written. I've just, uh, it just, it's just kind of something that just pops into my head uh, out, of, out of nowhere. And uh, right on. I, I try to grab a guitar as soon as I can and I forget it. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, Did you write an acoustic usually? or? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's all I really, I own my own acoustics yeah. okay. for sure. So how did you guys meet as a band? How did... Uh, I mean, we've known each other since like high school days, okay. you know, basically, because we used to sh we used to be into the same like punk bands growing up, and okay. we used to like skateboard and stuff like that. Yeah. So we just knew each other because he originally grew up in Catfish Haven. That's where the name yeah. takes place, which is a it was a trailer park in Missouri, but then we later all lived in a, a town together. Okay. And so, what, what how'd you end up in Chicago? Oh, my, my, my father lost his job, it just kind of a, my father lost his job, it was just a job change, he, uh, it was the closest place to find work for a career, he was just kind of tired of having just, you know, fly-by-night jobs, and it, it worked out, I mean, we were originally from the Chicagoland area, uh, but we, we, we moved to, to Cabbage Haven because of his job, and, uh, lived there for about three or four years, and, uh, yeah, uh, for one reason or another, he was laid off and yeah. headed back. It was my grandparents, a house full of people, and got you know, got an apartment in the ghetto. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't know. I met these these guys, and uh, we've been playing in bands. I, I've been playing in bands since I was about 14 years old. So I've known these guys forever, and even our drummer, he's been playing drums since he was about five years old. So he's yeah. he's he's been busy. He's been active for his whole life. So that's pretty cool. So. I don't know. Ever since we began, it just kind of gelled, and you know, it's what, what what first turned you on to the guitar? I mean, do you have like a to the acoustic? Yeah. Oh man, uh, you can't you can't really beat it. It's like uh, it, it's like it has this gigantic set of lungs that uh, that an electric does not have, yeah. in my opinion, and uh, it, it can't be. Du it really it cannot be duplicated. I mean. We've tried. We I've actually gone electric just to just to, for shits and giggles to see, you know what's going on, and uh, it it just did not feel. It, it didn't feel the same. None of us. We were just like, well, I guess it sounds cool. You know, we people people urged us. You know, why don't you try going electric? And uh, we tried. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it, it just yeah, it wasn't happening. Yeah. What did do you have? A favorite sort of instrument that you that you like, or what can you name the? Probably the voice. I don't know the vocals. I, I dig. Uh, man, I, I think that's first and foremost. I mean, you can have a, a dude playing one single note, but the you know, if someone's singing, you know, it, and if, if it's working out, it's yeah. the possibilities are endless. And I don't. know, I think that just has the most passion is just the human, you know, human to human voice, you know, vocals, vocal. Yeah. It, it, I, I dig it. That, that's probably my favorite instrument for sure. Cool. But on the uh, on the guitar side, do you have a favorite guitar, or do you do you kind of have oh, a, a collection, or how how does how does that go? 
I, I don't know. I play Ibanez. <laughs> I play strictly Ibanez uh, acoustic guitars. No, I, we're not really gear. I, I just I dig the fact that I can I can bang the shit out of the guitar and like uh, it, it's and it, it takes a beating and and I don't know. I think that's uh, try to give it all the fucking heart and soul I can and it's so far so good. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know. That's what I, we, uh, several of the bands we've talked to. Have, that's kind of what they're. they're not, it's not about the gear. It's like what you do with that kind of thing. Right, and right. I think that's yeah, definitely we, something to we that. We don't know much about the how. The, we yeah, just we ask people. We find like, gearheads and be like, "What should we buy?" No, my and amp is like, broken. Give the night at a show. Yeah. Our first, uh, we played <laughs> Sunday night and uh, part of the film festival. And uh, my amp just kind of crapped out on me, and I was like, "What the hell, man? This never, it's never." I was not expecting it. It was not a pleasant surprise. And uh, I had to borrow. So coincidentally, somebody had the exact same amp that night, and so it all worked out. But next morning, I check it out. You know, the the, the person's place are crashing at. You know, I'm like, "Can I can I check out my amp?" And uh, I find out there's this switch in the back that I never knew existed, but it was there. You know, it just it just how uh, oblivious I am to like the the, the technological aspect of uh gear <laughs> I, yeah we're not we just play that's all we can do yeah, that's great. just give us uh give us a you know give us equipment we'll play it you know, so fuck it yeah so you're the same way you know yeah i don't know i mean even i don't i like we can't read notes we're all self like we're yeah. self-taught yeah, it's all on by our ear like, like we don't yeah. we're not we don't know a lot about the technical yeah, aspects yeah. of music as long, you know? as long as you can tune it yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, do, George, do you write all the songs, or how, how does do you guys? I do. Yeah. I do. No, I write the songs, the lyrics, and we just, uh, yeah, no, it just, uh, there's such a fucking hard hitting fucking rhythm section. It all works out. Like, I couldn't be fucking happier, man. Like that's and that's just how I feel. How I'm feeling the songs, man. They, they translate it so well, man. It's just, uh, yeah, because it. Hey, I, right on, man. Cheers. So where where do the ideas for the songs come from? I mean, do you does, is it hard for you to kind of? It's all. I'm a huge fan of love songs. I think that's like just like the most powerful fucking thing. Like, uh, I'm a huge fan of like R&B and soul. So a lot of that kind of uh, kind of soaks into our music a little bit. Like I, I can't help but be a little influenced by a lot of the stuff that I that I listen to. But it's uh, yeah. I mean, it's just. Uh, it's just got to have that fucking feeling, you know, and uh, it's like I won't put anything on my record, you know, as far as overdubs or anything like that unless it's going to make the song better. It just We're very meat and potatoes about the whole process, you know. It's just you got to serve the song first and foremost, so. That, that seems to be a kind of a thread with Chicago bands, too. It's like there's a lot of, like, guys that are just, let's just do it, you know. Yeah. You, know you don't need all the bells and whistles and 85 overdubs, but. Chicago's kind of like that, though, compared to... Yeah, I mean, there's Chicago's a time and place a, yeah. for all that stuff. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, and I, and I can totally dig, like, you know, well-orchestrated, you know, stuff for yeah. sure. But, uh, but no, like I said, there's just a time and place. And, and in our situation, I think uh, I think us just trying to push the limits of the three-piece. You know, I, I think uh, that's our agenda right now. We're just trying to make it the best possible thing we possibly can. We don't want to compromise this, anything, so... Yeah. Yeah, we're very uh, we're very stubborn about what we do, I guess, and uh, yeah, it's uh, I don't know. We we're happy. We're happy for sure. Uh, are you guys pretty excited at the response you've been getting? And uh, do you feel yeah, like it's, it's been sure. it's been going really well? Yeah. Like, because you never know how, you know. Yeah. I, I mean, with reviews, you never know because it's just one guy's opinion yeah. Yeah. after he's listened to a stack of CDs. Yeah. You know, like. You never know how it's going to turn out, and we've gotten—it's been like positive overall. So yeah. we've been really happy, yeah, yeah and like we we're just really excited because we've been doing this band for like five years, okay. and so and we've been in bands when we were since we were little. Yeah. So it's like now we're finally, you know, getting Starting a chance to get to that yeah. next level. It's you know, a pretty good feeling. yeah, no, it's yeah. it's been awesome. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So uh, I guess on the on the record releases, uh, you guys have a EP out recently and uh, another album coming on on the way this year. Yeah, yeah, September 12th is the full length okay. release date. Has all that stuff been uh, written and, and recorded yet? It's all, it's all, we're actually, uh, we just received the masters and we're approving them and yeah, it's uh, it's all working out. I mean, uh, we couldn't be happier with the record, the, the, the label's really, ex everyone's really excited that's involved with the record and uh, yeah, September 12th is release date. Yeah, we got, a, there's, a, there's a, a couple surprises on it, so. Is there a title yet? Tell me. 
Tell me, and that's uh, yeah, it's a this, song that's on it. It's a title cool. track, yeah. yeah. Also, but yeah, no, I mean, uh, yeah, we're we couldn't be fucking happier, man, for sure. And then, so after that, you'll you'll tour to support that, or yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's really on all our agenda is right now. We're just trying to we want to tour the road and never look back, man. Yeah. You know. So where all have you been on tour so far? Wow, we just we just did a big tour, pretty much the whole month of February. We went out to East Coast, like you know, New York and DC, yeah, Boston, just all need to hit the West Coast, the Midwest. That's all we're yeah. waiting on. I mean, yeah, we've, yeah, we'd we've like done to, a lot of the Midwest, yeah. West Coast, or I mean, sorry, East Coast, uh, yeah. down south. But uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, we're uh, West Coast, West Coast yeah. is the next yeah. venture, I think, and then yeah. hopefully Europe this summer yeah, or gonna, fall. <laughs> So to make it over there. They played our they played our stuff on the BBC. Is that right? Yeah, they played some tracks off the. Yeah, BBC, no, there's. So. Uh, we hear this. There's, there's, there's a, a lot of attention over there, over there so. Yeah, so maybe uh, that's we're cool. To go there. Yeah. Very cool. In Canada too, we're hoping to go there soon. I think we're even working on going there soon, like in uh, going to Toronto. So that'll be cool. We never played there before, yeah. so. But again, this is uh, George and Miguel from uh, Catfish Haven, and they'll be we'll be getting some footage from them uh, tomorrow, I guess. And uh, looking forward to that, guys. And thanks again, and uh, appreciate your uh, taking a little bit of time to uh, chat with us. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank Great. you. Cool.